I'm not someone who struggled with confidence. I feel uncomfortable saying that I've always been a confident person as a woman because I think that there's so much conversation about women not being confident that it comes across as like almost bold to say that I've always been confident. There's so much conversation about insecurity with girls and girls not liking themselves and I feel sometimes like the focus on it makes the problem worse or creates the problem. I see full, you know, generations of women who work here who work with confidence, who assert themselves, who have a diverse set of styles. There's no one way to be a woman at work. And I think that I'm very encouraged by women in their 20s, because I think that they're gonna pave an entirely new way for what it means to be a confident woman at work. When you look at sort of aspiring entrepreneurs, what are some of the, the things that you think are the biggest misperceptions that they should focus on or think about versus what you see as a defining thread around what it takes to build and scale a business? There's a myth that the earliest days are the hardest. That's not at all true. In the early days, if you used to go home at night, there was only a certain finite number of things you had to do during the day. As a company gets bigger, you have to balance knowing that there are 10,000 other things you could be doing, but you're not gonna do them just because you have to maintain sanity and balance in your life. And so, one piece of advice that I would give to entrepreneurs is you better really love the thing that you're working on. Don't just think that you can start something up because entrepreneurship sounds cool and you want to work for yourself and then four years later you're going to sell it for a billion dollars. Like That happens 0.0001% of the time. When something actually is successful, it's about a vocation. It's about do you want to do this thing for potentially the rest of your life?